and it's for your own good, or so they say. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 countries that censor video games. Popularity of online gaming doesn't come without a cost. It's been linked to school violence. Gaming addiction is seen to be a serious problem. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at the countries around the world that, for one reason or another, have come down hard on gaming as a whole. Number 10, New Zealand. The OFLC explains their reasons for not banning the game. They felt that it doesn't promote an ideology or worldview that might encourage the violent behaviours found in the game. Despite the remoteness of the region, you can be sure there's still a thriving community of Kiwis who love to play video games. And while regulations on said games haven't been nearly as strict as some of the other countries, you know, the one with the awfully similar accent, New Zealanders have still had to deal with Christian-influenced groups like First Family New Zealand trying to put a stop to violent titles being published. Granted, it worked for the likes of the Manhunt series, but on the bright side, at least Grand Theft Auto 4 made it through. I'm the one who survived. Number 9. South Korea Many online games in South Korea require registration with an ID number. Already the government has prevented young people from playing overnight. So, how do we put this delicately? The gaming culture in this country is kind of intense. On the one hand, millions of adolescents have been reported to spend so much time playing that they culturally neglect their general standards of living, so much so that fear of gaming addiction prompted the government to issue what's been labeled the Cinderella Law, preventing minors from playing games online during the early hours of the morning. In contrast, though, there's a huge emphasis on the professional gaming scene, to the point where its players are treated like celebrities, while noted to practice so much that they can sustain injuries. While that's apparently brushed aside, 2011's Mortal Kombat wasn't so lucky. Womp womp. Liu Kang wins flawless victory. Number 8, China. You'll find plenty of shops openly selling gaming consoles, even though they've been banned here in China for more than a decade. Two sides of the same coin. While it now possesses the highest grossing video game market in the world, there was a time back in 2000 when foreign consoles were outright banned for fear of corrupting children. 15 years later, plus an obscene amount of revenue seems to have changed their tune just a bit. Of course, the price remains that every video game must be subjected to the same censorship rules as all other media in China, including any content that seems to promote the violation of basic principles, threatening national sovereignty and general disruption of social order. As such, don't expect to see any locals playing Battlefield 4 anytime soon. I guess they didn't appreciate the Siege of Shanghai level. Number 7, Saudi Arabia. Save me now, as you once saved me from Atlas. A less informed individual might lean towards the thought that because of religious reasons, video games have been outright banned here. While it is true that due to excessive nudity and violence, and in one case the inclusion of the word God in the title, games such as Grand Theft Auto, Heavy Rain, and God of War were outright banned. However, it should be noted that there is indeed a gaming culture in Saudi Arabia, one enforced by a growing number of developers that are spearheading a large percentage of female video game designers, as well as promoting exciting content within the frame of their culture. The more you know. So far, the biggest challenge I would have to say is the fact that uh, there are no big games out there, so we don't really have a local role model that we can follow. Number 6. United Arab Emirates Extreme Simulation is the most advanced virtual simulation center in Dubai. The potential for growth in the UAE's gaming industry has become monumental in recent years. But alas, despite its immense successes, there's still a lot of censorship to navigate, with a huge selection of games shipped to the UAE having to jump through all kinds of hoops. While it should be noted that recent digital versions of said games seem to be gaining traction, the likes of series such as Dead Island, Max Payne, and Blaze Blue were banned due to the inclusion of scantily clad ladies as well as excessive violence. Heck, Spec Ops The Line was given the chop just for featuring a sandstorm ravaged Dubai. I guess that's understandable. Uh, we tried to save you. Deep down, you knew we all had to die. Number 5. Brazil it's a billion dollar industry that's been attracting more and more customers of all ages. The gaming industry in Brazil is kind of weird. Not made available until the 1990s, the country's ludicrously high import tariffs and taxes, as well as a lack of domestic manufacturers, meant that many foreign developers avoided exporting their products to the country. While things have certainly gotten better in recent years, the purchase of consoles and video games as a whole remains excessively expensive, 
Not helped by the bizarre banning of titles like EverQuest due to its more mature moments, and even Grand Theft Auto episodes from Liberty City because it used the work of a Brazilian composer without permission. It's no wonder that Nintendo decided to bail on the whole country. Nintendo has officially closed its operations for distribution in Brazil. Number four, Germany. In truth, we can kind of see why Wolfenstein 3D was stopped at the gate. Well, with the fact that you, well, you know. But that aside, in spite of having the largest video game market in all of Europe, legislation that proposed to ban all violent video games has been met with fierce opposition from the general public. But on the other hand, that hasn't stopped the government from going on a censorship spree, infamous from turning human characters into zombies or robots. Number three, Australia. I'm having the dream again. Okay, dreaming. You have to feel sorry for the Aussie gaming community. Whatever titles managed to not get themselves banned still ended up getting chopped to bits in terms of edits, mostly because up until 2012, an R18 plus rating on video games didn't even exist. Of course, there were still plenty of problems after that. You need only look at what happened in 2015. 220 games banned over a four month period. For fans of franchises like Saints Row and The Witcher, they had to go through the motions of seeing those games get banned, only to be released much later with all the naughty bits edited out. I guess Geralt won't be getting laid after all. An important point to make here is that we're still going to have a refused classification category, just like you have for movies that uh, you might want to see. Number two, Iran. She doesn't hold back, huh? Because she says what we're all thinking. Join me in welcoming Brother Abbas. Violent or sexual content? Anything that discredits the Islamic Republic of Iran? <laughs> Not a chance, bro. As you might have gathered, for political and religious reasons, a majority of outsider titles are frequently met with strict censorship. Though Iran's overall gaming industry seems to be doing quite well due to their own distribution of original titles. However, some games worth highlighting are Battlefield 3, due to it depicting the US Army fighting in Tehran, aka Iran's capital, and Clash of Clans out of fears that it negatively affects family life. What? I guess after you steal your mom's credit card to buy some microtransactions? Anyway, one game that was banned for political reasons was 1979 Revolution Black Friday, a game that depicted the violent side of the Iranian Revolution, something the government wasn't exactly happy about. They trapped 425 innocent women, children, and men inside the cinema and burned it, burned it to the ground. Number one, Venezuela. <laughs> Pushed forward by the likes of their former president, Hugo Chavez, and put into motion by the government come 2010, any video game with even a sniff of violence soon found itself banned or destroyed. As you can imagine, the ban was not met well, with major companies like Sony openly opposing it, especially given the seemingly brash and unclear nature of the ban. This is really no laughing matter, because if you're caught with a violent title that they've banned, you could face some serious jail time. Recession and fear have completely altered the normal rhythm of this city. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.